All right, welcome everybody. This is Barney Kunti. I am uh, the creator and founder of the Wild WOW Success Summit and also a gold working on platinum uh, leader here from Ontario, Canada. I feel like I've been saying that a little too long, so I'm definitely going uh, this year is going to be saying platinum working on diamond. And uh, I'm here in the trenches as um, a fellow member for all for Team YL 100%. Uh, this Young Living Success Summit is 100% dedicated to all of us created for Young Living members by Young Living members. And so tonight we have another uh, installment of our bonus coaching calls, and we've been having a, a very cool vari variety in our calls. So last week we had uh, the last one that was on deck was Dr. Jessica Dietrich Marks, who is a great. Uh, holistic doctor and a chiropractor from Birmingham, Alabama, and she had some great things to share. And tonight, what's really cool about um, Young Living and what we do with the Success Summit is that we have everything from health and wellness and keeping ourselves above the line. And then we also have cool topics like this, uh, like uh, Mr. Jake Dempsey, who's our guest speaker, who's going to be jumping in here in a couple seconds on the topic there, the, pardon me, the some of the details we're going to be talking about is his presentation that he did um, for called Driven for Success, the Roadmap to the Comp Plan. So, Jake, are you with us tonight? I'm here. Good man. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your schedule uh, to share with us for the betterment of all uh, young living. I know that you certainly probably weren't sitting there twiddling your thumbs looking for something to do. <laughs> no, man. I'm happy to do it, buddy. <laughs> Appreciate it. So, uh, what I'd love for you to do is just in case, for whatever reason, if somebody's listening to this, I know that this is called being live with all of the all of them, everybody that's on live. But then again, if you're listening to this, is recording, I'd love for you to just give your um, kind of your story, kind of who you are, um, in case they don't know who you are, um, and kind of just your story with Young Living, how you got started, and where you guys are at right now, because I know that. Uh, if you're watching the, the video here, you can see the picture of Jake and Christy, uh, Jake's wife, Christy, and um, you'll see the picture of them on there. So I'd love for you to just kind of share your story so everybody can get familiar with you. Yeah, so my name is Jake Dempsey. Uh, Christy uh, and I, uh, we always just tell people we're the Dempseys and uh, we're Crown Diamonds uh, in Young Living. We've been in Young Living um, a little over five years, I believe. And uh, started with Young Living kind of mostly for wellness. And uh, Christy started actually growing a Young Living business out of it. Um, and I was the typical unsupportive husband, actually, um, frankly, until she was gold working on platinum, which is always a surprise to people. But uh, it's true. I was actually very unsupportive of the business. And uh, once she hit gold, she was talking, you know, she began talking about diamond. I didn't know what that was. So, you know, we sat down and had a real conversation as a family. What Young Living was going to mean to us was it going to be a business? Um, I, I own a software company I've owned for a number of years um, called Starter Step. So we already had a successful business, and we were just trying to figure out what was Young Living going to be for us long term, another business to manage, um, or was it going to be something more? And you know, we decided very intentionally that uh, Young Living was going to actually be uh, like a family to us, and we spend a lot of time doing things for what everyone refers to as Team YL because, you know, at the end of the day, we're all uh, working on the same team and we're all here to help each other. And we all have similar aspirations for wellness and uh, purpose and abundance, which are kind of the three pillars of Young Living, which are fantastic because they're in alignment with what, you know, we want in our life. So Young Living's really become uh, a big life uh, thing for us. It's our family. And, uh, you know, Christy, continue to pursue the business and wanted to figure out, you know, how does she get me engaged in the business more than just being supportive, right? So if you don't know me, I'm just a big nerd. I'm a big keyboard, a big keyboard jockey nerd. <laughs> and we had to figure out, you know, how could we leverage my gifts and talents to, uh, to benefit our Young Living business. And um, what came out of that was actually Oily Tools, which I think we'll talk a little bit about tonight. And, you know, I've spent the last three and a half, four years building and maintaining and managing and adding features to uh, Oily Tools. My, I guess, you know, my contribution just kind of came a little bit different. Instead of me focusing primarily on just our team, 
Um, I was able to just use my gifts and talents to build things uh, that just out of the gate, you know, benefited everyone in Young Living, which was really, um, I mean, I'm really proud of that, you know, that we built Oily Tools and uh, it was able to, is able to help so many people in Young Living. And then after, after building and managing Oily Tools for three years, you know, I, I actually always wanted to write a book and I knew that that book was going to be on technology. I just knew I was going to write a book on software development because I had done it for well over a decade and run a company for a number of years. So I knew I was going to write a book on, you know, how do you write great software? And uh, one, one day Christy actually makes a suggestion. Why don't you write a book on the comp plan? So I sat down and took all of the knowledge that I had kind of gained over the last three plus years at that time and actually wrote the first draft of the book in four days. Like it just, it just spilled out of me because it was all stuff that I was dealing with every day, right? Every day I was dealing with compensation questions and knowing the nooks and crannies of the comp plan. So writing all that down uh, actually was, it was the easiest thing I, it was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Um, so, you know, it just, it's just funny that it turned out that I always knew I was gonna write a book, never thought it would be on a compensation plan and just the Lord just kind of worked it out that way. So super blessed. And uh, we think it's a great tool for people. You know, it takes someone who knows little to nothing about the compensation plan. And, you know, I jokingly tell them it, it helps you know it better than corporate, which is pretty funny, but I think it's the truth. It makes you really understand it, you know? Yeah. But that's kind of me and that's kind of us, me and us in a nutshell. And, I guess the genesis of the comp plan book and uh, OT for that matter. Yeah, no, that's, that's really cool. And I, I know, um, well, I, I have the book and I can vouch for that. I'm going to share with people how we're using your book um, in our team, which has been great because I, um, well, I'll, I'll get into that in, in a little bit, but, but so that's really awesome. You guys have been in Young Living for how long now? I think it's five years. It was April I'm pretty sure it was April 2012, so a little over five years. Awesome, and you guys are crown diamonds, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So <clears throat> that's pretty amazing, and I, I think that's really cool because it is Oily Tools is an amazing tool, and I think probably the first thing we should do, um, and by the way, for those of you who are on live, if you have a quick question you'd like um, us to try and get to, I will just go ahead and type it in the chat box. And I am, we're just getting a little bit of feedback. So I'm just going to mute everybody's line and I'm just going to unmute Jake and I. So just one second. Okay. If you guys can still hear me, so that's good. I've got to unmute Jake so we can hear him. Um, so perfect. Uh, Jake, just try and say something again there. I think we might have, Jake, just try unmuting yourself if you're on the web there. I, um, Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, we're good. Yeah. Good. Just getting some feedback, so I just had to mute everybody. But um, yeah, so I think what we should do is, for those of you who had questions, you can go ahead and type them in the chat box here. Um, but the first thing is, um, why don't you, in case anybody hasn't listened or watched your presentation uh, from the Wild wow Success on 2016, um, which is, I'm just going to, change the screen for one second here, which by the way, if you guys want to see a little bit more about Jake's presentations, um, you can actually go, just go to the website, just go to wildsuccesssummit.com and you can go to the main, like the home page, and you can scroll down and you can click on his, these learn more tabs. Uh, but also when you scroll up to the very top, you'll see a, a link where you can click on trailers um, and it'll give you a little bit of a feel of what the presentation's like. And um, the two that he did was Driven for Success, Roadmap to the Comp Plan, and then the other one here, um, if you would like to, Jake, if you're cool with that, we could even just start with the basics of like at a very high level, um, really with Oli Tools, um, the main intention of it, in case somebody has no idea what it actually is. Yeah, so in a nutshell, you know, Oily Tools came out of originally – uh, to answer a really simple question that I would ask Christy at the end of each month, and it was uh, how much her check was going to be, and she didn't know. Uh, you know, and if you're in Young Living doing this as a business, you know that you know when the month completes, 
you get paid about three weeks later, roughly speaking, right? And uh, I, we never knew the answer to what we were getting paid. So the, the first thing that we built in Oily Tools uh, was we took the commission template from Young Living, looked at our commission check from months and months uh, previous to try to reverse engineer how the commission plan actually worked because there's a lot of information that isn't in the pamphlet. Um, and we built what was then called oily commissions. That's actually the first version of oily tools was actually called oily commissions. And once we built that, uh, we saw this huge opportunity to add a lot more features in this tool to help people grow and manage their business. So the largest feature that's probably used by most people is the fact that we calculate your commissions, not just on your current rank, but for um, all, all ranks in Young Living. So at any point in time, you can open Oily Tools and see what your current earnings estimate is for the month, and at the same time, put, change to a different rank to see if you were that rank and you had the structure you had today, what would you be making? So it's an incredible motivator for someone maybe at executive going to silver to see how much their silver check's going to be, or if your gold going to platinum, what your platinum check is going to be based on your current team structure. Um, and we do that, uh, you know, when we first launched Oily Tools, it pulled data once a day. It took like eight hours. And uh, over the years, you know, we've worked and partnered with Young Living directly to build APIs. And uh, now it does all of that work in about 40 minutes. So we actually pull data and calculate commissions every hour of the day. Um, every day of the month. And then even when the month finishes, we continue to pull data four times a day for the previous month so that you're getting a refined estimate all the way up to the point you get a paycheck. Because as you guys know, at the end of the month, you're pushing in ER orders, maybe some moves are occurring. So some of that information doesn't actually get reflected in the VO until the new month has actually started, which is why we continue to pull data you know, for that previous month for, I think, 10, right now, I think it's 10 days we continue to do that. That's the big kind of big bang feature of OT. Uh, and then, you know, we also provide down, a downline viewer that lets you text, call, email people in your downline with the click of a button. Uh, we have a very powerful reporting engine that lets you run various what we call canned reports uh, as well as custom reports uh, and apply filters to those reports. And uh, we also provide real-time statistics on your business. I think there's about 40 different real-time statistics that we provide uh, on your business at any point in time. And I, I would argue, I think our number two favorite feature is probably our push notification support. So one of the things that I am constantly looking at is really monitoring Christy's business. And I get excited when I see her do something uh, repetitive. So it started where I would watch Christy and she would be in the VO all the time. And I'd always ask her like, Hey, what are you, what are you actually looking for? And she would say, Oh, you know, Sally is really close to hitting rank. And I want to know exactly when she hits rank. Cause I want to call her and congratulate her, which is fantastic as a leader to contact someone right when they hit rank. Cause they may not even know they just hit it. Right. So it's a fantastic opportunity uh, for leadership. So we started building these notifications where we monitor it for you. And we let you know when it occurs. That way you're not constantly in the know looking for this information. And that has grown to a large list of, uh, of alerts, um, like when new people sign up, when new rank, when people hit new ranks, when you get people converting from a, whole, uh, a retail to a wholesale member, when people reactivate, when they sign up for ER, uh, when products go in and out of stock. So we provide all these real-time notifications about your business, which keep you out of constantly digging for that information in the VO and let you, you know, maybe spend more time on income producing type activity. Um, and you can be more proactive this way. So, you know, I think that's probably outside of commissions, our second favorite feature is this, this kind of real-time proactive information that we provide to people. Uh, and, and, you know, we, we about, I want to say two and a half years ago, maybe three years ago now, you know, formed a, a formal partnership with Young Living so that, uh, you know, it's not just us building an app. It's Young Living is actually working with us um, very closely, actually, to build APIs to ensure we have the proper data. And they even help, you know, refine some of the features that we like to build. Uh, if there's, you know, parts of the business we don't 
truly understand that they can provide a, a different perspective on. So it's been a fantastic partnership and uh, Willie Tools has just, I think, grown to uh, just be, uh, you know, crucial to, to people's daily management of their business, which is pretty cool. It's, it's an honor to kind of be able to play that role uh, in supporting people in that way, you know. Yeah, for sure. And I, <clears throat> I can speak uh, directly on that. Like, I, I just think it, it took me a while for whatever reason to get on to um, using it. And now that I'm on it, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I wish I would have had this in the beginning when I started. Because my my two favorite uh, notifications are the uh, a new person has enrolled um, and uh -huh. somebody signed up on ER. But then the other one that I've been noticing and really working on now is um, somebody just enrolled. Um, uh, somebody just enrolled first, first, first person, yeah, first time enroller, yeah, yeah which is really it's cool, huge, right? Yeah. So for me. For me, I look when, – when we think about adding push notifications, I always like to ask the question, what kind of opportunity does it create? So when you think about when someone enrolls their first new member, it's an incredible like leadership opportunity for you to contact them. And Because if you remember the first time you – think about it. The first time you ever enrolled someone, you were really excited, probably scared out of your mind because you didn't know if you did it correctly and had 15 questions on what to do next, right? So the fact that you can now get that notification within an hour, basically, of someone enrolling their first new member, uh, then you can reach out to them and, you know, A, congratulate them, and make sure that they know that they can get a thank you check from Young Living and see if they have any, see if they have any questions, um, you know, from sharing that you might be able to answer. So it creates this really cool opportunity for you to grow your business but at the same time, serve someone in your team, which I, I, I think every push notification we have kind of facilitates that particular avenue. You know, it helps me grow my business if I react to this notification and I get to serve someone in the process, which is pretty cool. Yeah, for sure. I, I, um, I think the, the fine balance for me has been not freaking the people out when I call them, you know, or message them <laughs> like literally within. 15 to 30 minutes i'm usually pretty quick on it because i get the push notification i'm like sweet so then you click on it and it or you know and it opens up um and if my phone's locked then they'll sit there just like normal push notifications and then you can scroll through them and like if it's a text message or an email or whatever click on it and then it goes right to the ad goes right to the person and then you can literally just click on it to call them or text them um and there's two people where they're like uh that's weird how did you do, how did you know that <laughs> how did and then, you know that yeah but it like weird. Well, in a cool way. I think what's, what's funny though is people don't realize that we, you know, because I, people, you know, will come to me and say thanks for oily tools and I use it every day. And I don't think people understand like Christy and I are as big a addicts as anyone. We check oily tools probably uh, as much, if not more, than most people, you know, like I don't, I don't know how we would run our, like, I truly don't know how we would run our daily business without, without it. It's yeah. typically, and I hate to admit this, but I, you know, I'll speak truth. Uh, it's actually typically the first thing we look at in the morning. We, you know, you, your alarm goes off, we roll out of the bed and we open OT and we look, you know, did our business grow while we were sleeping, which is always pretty fun to see. Yeah. No, I think, I think it's uh, I mean, really it's your business. You guys as crown diamond leaders and uh, obviously building and growing towards Royal and, you know, it's just cool because it is, it, it is really those, they're those little things and in me in the training, personal training or, um, lifestyle coaching field, it is always something if I can show the smallest steps of progression or signs of growth, um, even if a client looks in the mirror and they can't, you know, feel or see the difference, but if I can show them those small little steps towards progress, it's really powerful because it, it continues to support that positive behavior. Um, or actions, right? And and that's what it's no, allowed, totally allowed us to do. And you know, it's it's brilliant because I think if my math is correct, it's um, it works at like five or eight cents a day. It works out to be to have the app. Yeah, it's probably something like that. Something like that. So I mean, it's really it's it's peanuts. So if you guys are listening, you're not using early tools, then you're definitely going to want to get on that. And we should maybe um, speaking of which. Um, is that – what's the site? They just go to oilytools.com if they want to sign up for it? Yeah, the way you use Oily Tools is uh, you go to oilytools.com and you sign up. There's two uh, There's two choices. Um, you can either 
um, sign up for our monthly subscription, which is $6.99 US per month. Um, or you can sign up for our um, annual subscription, which is $69.90 uh, per year. So we give you a little bit of savings. You, you effectively pay for 10 months, but get 12 months on the annual plan. So you get to save some, save some money there. And then once you create your subscription, uh, you just visit the app store either in Google Play or you know in the iOS app store and install the app. And you can log in with your Young Living member ID and your virtual office credentials. Uh, and there's also a web version. So if you don't have an iPhone or don't have an Android device, you can still use oilytools.com. There's actually, I'd say probably 95% of the features that people have on the phone in Oily Tools on the app are also on the website. Uh, some things we can't do like you know push notifications for for you know i guess we technically could but we don't have that built for the for the web um the web version but about 90 95 percent of the same, same functionality is there that way you can use it really on any device it can be uh you know it can be ios android you can have it on multiple devices we get this question a lot and it's actually a really great tip for people yeah you know if you're if you're currently an oily tools user um, most people don't realize we don't charge for the app itself, meaning your spouse can install Oily Tools on their device and log in with your credentials, and it doesn't cost anything extra. So a great way to get uh, you know, a, a husband, or I say a spouse, but generally speaking, uh, it's been a husband, yeah. to be more supportive is you have them install Oily Tools and you know, ask them to run a few reports for you each month, which – you could easily run them, but it's a way to get them engaged slightly. And then what you'll find is they start watching Oily Tools as much as you, and they'll say something like, hey, did you see that you know, Jill enrolled Sally today? And you'll find that they actually start engaging in the business a lot more. And it doesn't even cost you anything uh, extra than you're already paying. So you could put it on your, you know, your iPhone and your iPad, and if your spouse has an Android, they can install it on the Android. We don't, we don't limit the number of devices you can actually access it on. Yeah, and that's that's pretty sweet um, because my wife and I are like that, uh, where we we use it, and then and then she logs in and I log in, and it's great because then we both get the notifications and it it feels that growth and it and it is. I think it's something where um, when you look at the the not knowing some of that information and having it at the tip, t touch of your fingertips is really helpful, just because it is. I mean, there's times where I would go in and I would check, I would log in and and check the report and okay, cool. So we had you know, 24 new signups this month and now we're 26 or 27. That's cool. Um, but then having that notification, you get kind of keeps your finger on the pulse and then you're not, like you said, you're not always glued to it and, um, and you can be in as engaged as you want to. And I think for, for a lot of people, um, which is why I actually built that beyond the first tab, you know, um, presentation was a lot of folks would open up to just the, just the homepage, we call it, which is really your your commission earnings, right? Your estimate. And what we were finding is once you got, once you talk to someone about Willie Tools, they all know about the commission estimate because it's the number one feature. But when you start digging a little deeper on like reports and stats, you would find that a lot of folks weren't really leveraging that, those parts of OT, which are really, really powerful business builders. So you know, I wanted to start spending time with people to help them understand that, like, you know, if you want to have success, and, and not just in young living, but in, in business and in, in training, it doesn't matter, you have to be able to take a measurement. You need to take a measurement, perform some type of activity, whether it's a business activity or, you know, a, a workout regimen, and then measure again, right? And over time, hopefully you see a trend to, heading towards your goal. And, uh, that's the whole purpose of the stats is really to do that, right? You you look at a stat like ER member percent, at, at your member percent ER, and you want to figure out, you know, what I can do from a business perspective to actually grow that number. And then next month you measure it again. And then you decide if what you did was actually effective, right? And then you do it again and do it again. And over time, that percentage uh, grows. And I could say the same for reports. We were finding people would run the canned reports like, oh, here's my list of new rankers because we provide you a new ranker report you just tap a button and it gives you all your new rankers but they weren't going any deeper than that and uh, you know we have invested a large amount of time to make reports extremely 
robust and oily tools so that you can do some very sophisticated reporting. And we did that because th there has to be a way for you to like look at your current team and say, how can I grow my current team? Not necessarily by enrollments, but how do I grow it uh, just with the people I already have? And there's a lot of ways to do that. You know, one of my favorites is looking for people who are about to miss a promo. And it's, it's, I remember I did this one time for a group of people and this is how telling it is, you know, even as crown diamonds, this is, this is how telling it is. So I told people, you know, if you run a custom report and you add filters to that report that say, give me all people whose ERPV is over 170 and all, uh, and their ERPV is less than 190, meaning give me people whose ERPV is between 170 and 190. That's what that means. And their ER processed is false. And maybe their ER and, and the ER process day is within the next, say, week, right? What I've just done is created a list of people that are less than 20 PV away from missing the 190 promo. And it, it'll blow your mind how close people are uh, to getting their promo, but they're going to miss it. So Christy and I did this one month while we were actually telling one about this report. And we had a person in our team that had 189.25 ERPV that had not yet processed so we could still save them uh, but they were less than one PV away like less than one dollar basically away from getting their 190 promo Wow! and you know you could argue you could argue contacting that person isn't going to materially grow your business that month but what I would say is but what if them getting their 190 promo is that one thing that kind of lights their fire right what if the what if the product that they get in the promo is the thing that just sets them on fire for Young Living's products even more, which makes them want to do the business. And if nothing else, it gives you this great opportunity to serve your team. And that person will know that you care because calling them for one PV, they're going to know, well, that isn't really going to grow their business. I mean, they called me over a dollar, but they know that you helped them get their promo, which is a, again, it's a great, it's just a great opportunity to show servant leadership, which will in turn over time, create a fantastic, strong business in your living. Yeah, I, I agree. I think that <clears throat> it, those small little um, actions and just the fact that really, I mean, to call somebody and just to give them an off option, I always kind of liken it to, you know, you offer somebody a glass of water, they come over to your house. If they say no, you don't, you know, you're not going to get offended. You're just kind of like, okay, great. You know, I offered you a glass of water, just like if you were to call somebody up in your team and I let them know and say, hey, I'm not sure if you're aware, but just another dollar or $10 will get you X in free product that people do really appreciate that. Uh, we certainly have found that in our team as well. I, I don't know that I know of an example, well, at least I haven't heard one yet, where you called someone that's, you know, and I use the 20 PV, 170 to 190, because usually the 190 promo is worth more than that, right? So yeah, I, I don't know that I've ever heard an instance where someone called someone that close to the promo and then get offended by it, you know? It doesn't mean they'll make the make the additional purchase because maybe they don't really care about that promo this month or yeah. for whatever reason. But I've never I've never heard the story of, you know, the person was offended that I called them because they were five PV away from a promo. I haven't heard that story uh, yet. You know? No, I agree. I agree. But I have heard the story of people having using that as a um, uh, maybe an excuse or like, I'm not sure, I don't want to bother them or seem pushy or you know, just to, have, you know, but I don't think that I haven't heard of that either, but sometimes that I've heard of that. Don't you, don't you think it's a, it's fair, like that example, it's fairly low friction, right? Like yeah. calling someone to say, you know, Hey, there's $50 basically in product on promo. You need to spend another five to get it. <laughs> you know, like yeah, I know. that seems pretty low friction to me because if they say no, it's not like you were asking them to do anything. Uh, that was going to cost them more than the reward they would get, right? That's right. Yeah, that's right. Well, yeah, I think um, there's that. So the, when you look at oily tools from the the big picture um, and and the, from the price point, it's pretty much a no brainer, and it's such a powerful tool to have um, to to use and just to get in and get started. And um, so for you guys listening to this, if you're not on it uh, now, live and in the future, definitely jump on there. And I think the next thing that we should kind of segue into, Jake, is um, your other presentation. And before we jump into that one, I just want to say if you guys um, are listening and you attended free um, during the summit, we're doing our third one. It's coming up 
is in October 1st or the 14th. And we're working on something um, that we're going to be, I'm going to be announcing in the next couple of days. It's really exciting that really in a nutshell is going to give you guys the ability to um, share the presentations in a way that um, is easy. Because right now, if you attended the summit and you're listening to this call um, or you didn't, you're like, man, I really want to listen to that presentation. Um, really, the only way that you're able to get it is if you were able, you would be able to 48 hour um, access pass that you can get on there for free. But then if you have people you want to share with your team, you would then basically uh, have to buy it for the um, to get all the presentations. And so we've been surveying people. And this is a prime example of just taking something like this where it's oily tools beyond the first tab and taking this presentation and you call up the person um, or the new enroller, first time enroller that somebody just got started and they enrolled somebody and you got them really excited. And they're like, how did you know that it just enrolled Jane Doe? And they're like, well, I use oily tools. Um, and they're going to ask all these questions. Well, how does it work? And what do you do? This is where what we're working on is being able for you to send them this presentation. Say, hey, well, this is a great presentation by Jake Dempsey. Uh, if I send it to you, would you watch it? And then it would be able to let the tools do the talking. And then after they watch that presentation, then they were like, wow, this is great. And they understand how to use it. And so then on the, on the next uh, point of my comment here is that I think that's where your presentation comes in, Jake, for the um, the second one, which is, this one with the compensation plan, um, because before you can just kind of share a little bit more about this, um, I just like to tell people that this, uh, you can actually get these books or purchase these books um, right here on uh, I'm driven for success.com. And I was at an event at Sonia Swan's uh, vibrant health conference in the fall of 2016, where Jake and I had a, had the chance to have a great chat and we purchased some of these books and these have been great to basically when somebody asks us about the business how does it work we use this book as the like eric warre talks about in gopro the if i would you so if i give this book to you mary would you read it and they hopefully say yes um it literally just simplifies it um to help people understand how the comp plan works yeah and i, I really wanted people to like I remember when I first wrote the book, and, and it's marked sold out currently if you see that on the website. I'm actually in the process of moving right now, and my books are – they're buried somewhere in a corner. So I, I just went in and marked them all as sold out so that by the time we get done moving, I can go – I don't – because I'm worried people are going to purchase them, and then I won't be able to ship them for weeks. So right. uh, hopefully in the next week or two, they'll be marked as not sold out so people can purchase them. Right. But – uh. When I wrote the book originally, what was fu funny is that I sent it to the uh, – what do you call it? The copy editor, and they sent it back, and it had hundreds if not thousands of edits in the book, and I was like, wow. So I started reading the edits, and they were really changing the tone of the book, and um, I contacted the copy editor, and I explained to her that my intention – was I wanted to, to to read like I was literally sitting by the person and we were just having a conversation about the compensation plan. So there's like you know bad jokes and you know maybe sentences that aren't perfectly grammatically put together because I wanted it to feel like we're, I'm just sitting down and we're having a conversation. And uh, once I told the copy editor that she was like, oh, you know, she went back and and re-edited it, but. The, the intent is if you sat down and if you came up to me and said, Jake, could you spend the day teaching me everything you know about the comp plan? The book is basically that. It's me sitting down and going uh, piece by piece. So the book is broken into, I think, 15. I've actually got a copy beside me. How many is it? There are, yeah, 15 chapters. And every chapter is a specific topic. Either it is uh, to teach you a concept like compression or what's a generation, or it's about a specific compensation structure like unilevel commission, retail earnings, generation leadership bonus. So every, every chapter is, is very specific, and it's structured in, in a way that it teaches you about that particular topic like, let's say, Fast Start. There's a, a chapter on Fast Start. It teaches you everything about Fast Start. And then at the end of the chapter, there's a section um, called nitty gritty, which are these little bullet points of information that you just need to know. For example, if you're if you really want to know fast start, there's a couple things you have to know, like 
when you enroll someone for those first three months that you're earning 25% uh, on their PV, there's a maximum that you can earn per month, which is $200 per member. Meaning if you had, if you sign someone up today and they bought a thousand PV at sign up, you're only going to earn $200 on that 1000 PV, not $250. So the maximum is 200 PV. And if, if, if you enroll someone and then that person enrolls someone, as you know, you earn 10% on that new enrollment for their first three months, that new enrollment has an 80%, or excuse me, an $80 maximum so those are two little like i call them nitty gritty things that you really need to understand about fast start to truly understand that compensation structure so in that nitty gritty section i outline those for you and every chapter if it has little nitty gritty items like that i i out outline those items at the end of each chapter in addition to the the nitty gritty at the end of every chapter there's an exercise your brain which people either uh love or hate so you know i am a self-professed math nerd, obviously. I mean, I wrote a math book. Uh, but at the end of every chapter, there are word problems, like, you know, old fifth grade word problems. Sally's on a train going 35 miles an hour, and, you know, those kind of word problems. Yeah. So you have to go through, you got to go through and answer these word problems. And then there's a key to the to the word problems that explains what the answer should be. So the, the intent is really, I'm sitting down with you, we're having a conversation. And then as we talk about each topic, I quiz you. On what we just talked about and tell you whether or not you got it right and if you if you treat the book like that if you treat the book like a like a study guide not it's not a novel right it's not intended for you to sit down and read it in one setting and say look i i know the comp plan it's really not intended to be read like, like that it's it's intended that you pick up a chapter and you say i'm going to really get to know unilevel commissions and you go read the entire chapter on unilevel commissions read the nitty-gritty commit the nitty-gritty to memory do the exercise your brain word problems. And if you do it that way, you will know comp better than most people. Definitely yeah. better than, than most people that are even doing the business. I mean, I've, I've given this book to RCDs that read the, read the book who feel, feel pretty confident that they know the comp plan. And they come back and tell me, man, there's like three or four things I've never even knew about <laughs> the comp plan that I'm here. Which is great. I, I just think that, first of all, I think that's hilarious because I mean, it's hilarious and awesome because I know that there's people who have, you know, grown their teams and they didn't know, or they just have people that got enrolled and they've really grown and they didn't know. And then there's other people where they want to know all the details, not to figure it out. All it certainly has a lot to do with your personality type. But on the other hand, um, I think that's just an important little teaching point where it's like, you don't, don't get caught up in the details. Of course you want to, you don't want to be uh, uneducated and, and, and giving out false information. But on the other hand, you learn as you go, and I just think that's awesome that you talk to Royal Crown Diamond, and they're like, yeah, I, I mean, still learn something. So that just goes to show that no matter where you are in your walk or your journey with Young Living, with building, getting started, or at a plateau and to get to the next level, there's always something to learn, and it's really powerful to use a resource like yours, like your book. And and I agree with you. I think it is, it's not like a, you know, like a little novel, like you read it, okay, great, that was an awesome little story or teaching um, opportunity, but that when there's a question, you're like, you know what, I'm not sure about the, that. And I've done that because I've, I'm really not sure sometimes. And then we go and look at the book and then we can confirm it. And then I can feel confident in um, utilizing that as a duplicatable or a duplicable skill on our team. No, I agree. Like, it, and it's meant the way it's structured with the chapters is so that when a question arises, like, for example, you know, a really common misunderstood comp structure is rising star team bonus right and when when someone says man my rising star is not showing up well they can just quickly go to the rising star chapter it's probably i don't know i don't, I don't have it in front of me but it's probably you know it's less than six to eight pages long you could read about that structure from you know soup to nuts do the word problems again if you need to and really understand why it's not showing up or if someone in your team has a question on like fast start you can pop into the fast start chapter and review it and then be able to answer a question for someone in your team you know so it's a it's a it's more of a study guide and a resource guide honestly than it is a you know sit down and read for a couple hours and know the comp after a couple hours right yeah for sure um i did have a question come in from diane she was 
asking, um, is the compensation, is, is it the same compensation plan worldwide or is there different um, differences for Australia? Like so the compensation plan for, for Young Living is a is a worldwide comp plan. Now, in some markets, there are pieces to the comp plan that aren't um, applicable. For uh, for example, in Australia, they I think last year, I think it was last year, they got the they got a PSK. They didn't have a PSK before then. So you know we have the Start Living bonus, which is a twenty five dollar one time bonus when you enroll someone with a PSK. Well. That really didn't apply to Australia up until last year, right? Because they didn't even have a PSK, but now it does. So there are some markets where there's no start living bonus because that market doesn't have a premium starter kit. Um, but generally speaking, the compensation plan is the same worldwide. What, what Young Living does is that for every market, they have what's called a peg rate, which is, which is loosely based on um, you know, the conversion factor. Uh, for example, right, Barney, you're in Canada, so I think your your yeah. uh, conversions 1.29, right, for, yeah. for 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 oily tools. Meaning, you know, whenever Young Living calculates a dollar, it actually pays a dollar 29 to Barney Canadian because that's the peg rate that's set up. And then on occasion, Young Living will reevaluate the the conversion rate for a given market and update the peg rate. I don't know if they do that once a year or twice a year, but I know it's on a on kind of a periodic basis. So depending on your market, like Australia, you've got a peg rate. I don't know what the Australian one is off the top of my head, but obviously your young living corporate folks in Australia would. And uh, this is what Oily Tools takes care of this too, because when you use Oily Tools, there's actually a feature called international market adjustment, where folks like Barney can go into the more tab, go to international market adjustment, put in the number 29, into the international market adjustment and then oily tools automatically increases his earning estimate by 29 percent so that what he's looking at is his actual canadian dollar um, check that he's going to get yeah which is huge if you guys and you know if you're listening to this and you're you're in the u.s and you're kind of like what like you know how does that make sense but yeah for everybody else those of us canadians australians and europeans and in other markets um it definitely there's an adjustment and so I always joke and say that if you've got twenty dollars American, you can pretty much live like a king for a month in Canada. <laughs> totally, <laughs> totally kidding, but yeah, it's basically like a dollar American is like a buck thirty or a buck twenty nine. So that's right. Like, it, it's cool because I actually didn't. I didn't know that for the first little bit, and looking at it, I was kind of like, man, like what's going on with our commission this month? Um, and then, and then when I went in and did the more tab and then updated, I'm like, okay, that's now more like it because thirty percent. Is a big um, you take you know three thousand or four thousand American and then add thirty percent on that it adds quite a chunk. What What's funny is that I think as you learn more about the business of, of of Young Living and understand that there are you know when we sell lavender it, it's the the price that you pay for it in the states is not the price you pay for it in Australia which is not the price you pay for it in Canada so every market has a different price right based on the world economy, but every product has a PV value that is the same across all markets. And this is where you can really start to understand, because I have people ask me all the time, why do we even have PV? What is the point of that? Most of the time it's, it's someone in the States because we're, we're lucky in that for the most part, our PVs represent the same as our dollar value, but everywhere else in the world, the PV almost never matches the price of the product. So once you start to, you know, just think about the fact that we're selling products around the globe, the PV starts to make a lot of sense because when we calculate commissions, we're using PV. And then once we're done calculating commissions, we apply a peg rate to it based on the market we're paying the person. And that that works, that strategy works, right? No matter what market we're talking about, which is the primary driver why you need PV in my my nerdy definition to people is pv is a current it's a currency agnostic value applied to a product so that we can calculate commissions uh, and divorce that commission structure calculation from an economy like the canadian dollar or the australian dollar and then later apply a peg rate to it yeah <clears throat> yeah totally and i and I, I can only just sit thinking about this and thinking man there's all this stuff is working behind the scenes and in, in oily tools and and having that at the touch of your fingertips 
um, and understanding it and, and utilizing a presentation like what you did. Both of them were amazing um, for the summit and being able to utilize <clears throat> that material and the old saying that I'm still working on is gold going platinum and platinum diamond um, is that the tools do the talking and to continue to really do that because I had the tendency to kind of, you know, uh, in the fitness field, we're kind of, not kind of, but we're really encouraged to be the, the local expert and the, have, be an expert in the field and where people think of fitness or need to get in shape. They want to think of you and your gym and your training and your program. And so I'm really kind of been conditioned to to be an expert at answering questions and fixing problems or troubleshooting and in young living and network marketing it doesn't always work that well because then when I'm not there answering the questions or providing that guidance for people then or for my team then it it's it's actually disempowering and and all that to say that a lot of what Jake and I've been discussing more so Jake about the compensation plan uh, using oily tools is that it allows you to take everything, all of this knowledge and simplify it in the use of an app and take a book like this. Um, I'll go back to the tab here. <clears throat> we'll just pretend we don't see the sold out sign, um, which is good marketing saying we sold so many books. We've got to wait for the next print run. Um, <laughs> and, but, but with all kidding aside, you know, it, it's just powerful to have that and say, here you go. Um, you know, have a read through that. And we've been using it where when people reach executive, um, we give them that book, which maybe we could start a little bit earlier. Uh, but we've been finding that that's been, we would actually be giving them two books and saying, here, you can use this for leaders in your team. And that's been really helpful. Well, I think, I think what's, what's powerful on like a, at a generic level is learning that the, the great thing about network marketing is that you can create a lot of scale and a lot of leverage, right? And the, the only way you can do that is by, removing the necessity for you to be the one answering all the questions. Like, like you're talking about when you're a trainer yeah. and it's your gym, uh, the book stops with you, right? That's the reason, cool. and the reason that strategy doesn't scale with network marketing is because, you know, to be successful at network marketing, you want hundreds and thousands of people to be part of your team, all doing their, their part basically to grow the business. So this book and oily tools and the success summit and all these things that are available uh, to people in uh, in Young Living are just ways to just to multiply that leverage. So instead of you know someone sitting there and you know calculating their commissions by hand, we'll just get oily tools. It's, it's the cost of a coffee, right? If if you really want to understand how you get paid, because maybe you want to strategically do something different with your business because of that knowledge, then read a little book, it, right? If you want to get a massive amount of of knowledge from a large group of people at one time, then you, you know, you do the success summit. You, you leverage all these tools to create uh, a lot of scale in your business, right? To multiply that, to multiply that leverage. Yeah, totally. And then um, Dorothy uh, had a question just about the, had, she had a member reactivate, but didn't get notified by early tools. Why? Uh, there could be a couple of reasons. So the first is you want to always make sure that, you know, you have that particular notification turned on. Um, you know, all the notifications for Oily Tools are found in the More tab under Settings and then Notifications. That's the first thing. Uh, then you would check to see, did you get the alert? So there's a tab in Oily Tool called, called Alerts. And what we do is every time we tr attempt to send you a push notification, we also create an alert, kind of like Facebook, right? You've got a, an alerts notifications tab in Facebook. We do the same exact thing. And we do that because, and Facebook does too, because uh, you, we are not guaranteed that you get a push notification. Uh, most people don't under, don't know this, but you know, if your phone is turned off or you don't have cell signal or whatever you know, reason may, may be out there where Apple or Google can't get the push notification delivered to your phone, they basically queue it up. And they only keep, in Apple's case, the last one from the app. So if I send you one, two, three right after each other and say your phone is currently disconnected, when your phone comes back online, Apple will send the last one to you. And if your phone is disconnected for an extended period of time, and I don't remember what that time is, uh, they actually don't even send you the last one I sent you. So it, it's po possible that you know, we attempted to send it, you didn't get it because you were, you know, your phone was out and then Apple ended up throwing it away or uh, you don't have it configured, which is also fairly common. Yeah. Um, so there's a couple, couple reasons. 
Yeah, she just she just wrote back and said reactivations weren't turned on. Thank you. <laughs> yep, that that will definitely cause them not to not to work. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Well, yeah, it's and it's it looks like a little bell. I'm just looking at mine now. You just click. It looks like a little bell because there's five little logos. There's like a house, and then looks like a legend with an arrow shooting up, which that's for stats. And then the, all the people together. That's downline. And then there's a little bell for alerts. And then the three lines, which is the uh, the more tab. And then there's a whole bunch of stuff in here, like the movers and shakers, the product search, notes, artifacts, while search, rank qualification, link generator, oily tools training. It's really cool. It's all right there. Yeah, we even built training directly in the app. We used to get a lot of questions on, like, can you do a video for, you know, how movers and shakers works, for example. Right. And, uh we would do the video and post it in the Facebook group. And then, you know, it's, it's Facebook. So over time that link gets buried. Um, so we ended up building training directly in the app now so that you can go to oily tools training. And there's a number of, I want to say there's about 15 uh, different videos, typically two to three minutes long that go over each of the features of oily tools to give you a high level. Here's how reports work. Here's how movers and shakers works. Uh, so you've got training literally directly in the app. Yeah. And that's really, Really cool because in that way, like when you think about it, so for you guys listening live and in the future to this call, <clears throat> my challenge to you guys is to, if you don't have the app, just download it and purchase it. Um, and I did, I do the annual, I mean, you can do the monthly, but it makes most sense uh, that even just with one enrollment, um, especially in, well, in Canada, but 6750, where it's um, from a PSK, but in, in the US, it's 50, so that you can see the adjustment there for the um, exchange rate. Uh, but that will pretty much pay for it. And then just challenge, or not challenge, but like encourage somebody on your team to get started with it. And then when they start asking questions, say, so, you know, it's a great question. Um, there's the training and tools tab. We're all explain it to them how I'm using them. But I mean, I've also found that I've tried to explain it. And that's where my, the, the old Barney is stuck in like, look, I'm answering the question. That's the trainer Barney. The trainer Barney. Yeah. And Barney <laughs> Network Marketing Young Living Brain says, okay, great. That's a great question. That's in the training uh, section and um, and then that's where it just really helps because in that way um, it's empowering because then they're like sweet like when I want to refer or encourage somebody on my team to do so go get the app and then when they have a question they can go through the training and, and if something still isn't quite clear then that's where you can still help and, and and don't forget you can gift it I mean what what we do is when we have a builder who really wants to try all these tools but isn't really yet you know, committed, I'll say, to signing up for the subscription, you can actually, as a leader, gift it to people in your organization. Um, I mean, in fact, you can gift it to someone uh, for a month for free. It doesn't cost anything. When you are a paid member, you know, you can log into the Oily Tools website, and when you access that left menu icon, there's a feature, Gift Oily Tools, uh, and there's an option to gift it free to someone who has never tried it for a month. Uh, and they get an email that says they've been gifted and they can install the app and use it for a month. And then at the end of that month, it'll just inform them that, you know, their gift has expired and they need to sign up to continue using it. Uh, it's also a great, uh, a great way to, to incentivize builders. So we, we very frequently have leaders who will like, they'll do some type of incentive, right? Where, Hey, enroll three new people and I'll gift you oily tools for, for two or three months or something. So they'll use it as a way to actually encourage business growth in their team. Yeah. And what they give and what they give is the reward is a business tool, which then what helps that person go grow, <laughs> grow their business even more. Yeah. That's, that's amazing. Yeah. Dorothy was just saying, didn't know about the gifting. And is it, is it, did you say it was free gifting or how yeah. does it work? Yeah. When you, when you log in and go to the, the left, the, the top left menu icon where you see all the features, uh, there's a gift oily tools feature and in that kind of workflow you choose kind of the term how long you want to gift it to someone and uh one of the options is free so you can gift it to a a person who's never tried oily tools for one month for free and you can do that as many times as you want if you've got a thousand people in your team and all a thousand are chomping at the bit to try oily tools you can just gift it to them for free it doesn't cost you anything wow um yeah so look we, at this. We, we, I'm, I'm learning something tonight. I don't know why I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, man, you can yeah. you can give to, for free to people. We don't limit how many times you can do it. 
Mm -hmm. uh, the only thing that you're limited by is, you know, if the person you're trying to gift it to has ever been gifted free right. or been a paid member at some point in the, in history, uh, it won't let you do the free gift. You have to yeah. you know do the paid gift. But for new builders that you that are you know really starting to 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 get out there and share, and you want them to have the right tools and they're ready for oily tools, yeah, gift it to them. Doesn't cost anything. That's awesome. And and just where is that again? That's in if you get at the home page. Yeah, when you go to oilytools.com and log oh. in using the top right login link, after you log in, in the top left is a menu icon, which you know then shows you all the features for the web, the web version of Oily Tools. And one of those features is gift Oily Tools. Okay, so you can't you can't do that from the app then. Correct. Okay. It has to be done from the website. Okay, so that's cool. So yeah, because I was looking in the app and I was like, I didn't see it, but that makes sense. So you go to log in. So that's pretty amazing. And then uh, I mean, pretty beyond amazing. I don't, I don't want to sound nerdy excited about it, but I'm pretty excited. I'm going to share that well, with here, my team. Here's what, you, here's what you have to do now, Barney. After our call, you okay. run a custom report. So one of the filters in our reporting is, are they an Oily Tools member? So you can now go run a report on, like, say, give me all senior stars and above right. that don't have Oily Tools. And now you have a report of people. You can just use the export feature. And then go to the website and go gift it to them all. Brilliant. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Well, I, will, <laughs> I will report back to you guys and tell you that it was the night that Jake Dempsey shared with me that free gifting tool. And that's what took us to Diamond. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, man. Maybe that's a little nudge that you need. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> Diane asked if the uh, book is available to download. And it, it isn't currently. We don't have an ebook. Um I, I am working and I'm just, I don't have a date, but I am working on a digital version of Oily Tools again, because I'm an app kind of keyboard nerd. Um, I'm actually working to make an app um, that is the book with notes and highlighting and bookmarking mm. uh, and it'd be its own application. I just, it's been a little bit on the back burner because I've had other projects to tackle, but it's something that's in the works. When you said, you said um, the digital version of Oily Tools, but you meant the the success, the driven for success book, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. So that answers a question for Diane. And then the other thing now, if you remember, because I know <clears throat> probably processing a lot of information over there in, uh, in Nerdyville, Texas, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> in the app world. Um, but this, this presentation, so do you remember, would you say that it was fairly close to, you know, it, it kind of was, it wasn't verbatim, but it was pretty much covering most of the information in the book or not quite. It's fair. So think of the, the uh, success presentation as like the cliff notes to the book. I, Cause again, we have a time issue, right? Sure. So I tried to take a lot of the stuff that was in the book and condense just parts of it that I think are really important, like rising star team bonus, which I think is fundamentally the, way you should build your business. Um, I think I even talk about that in the presentation. Uh, so a lot of the stuff that's that's in the presentation comes directly from the book and it's more of a condensed cliff notes of what you'll find in the book. Right. Okay, cool. So as we kind of wrap things up here, Diane says, thank you. Um, and Dorothy said the same thing is <clears throat> What we're going to be doing for you guys listening live and again in the future, you might already have know, know this, but I actually was at the uh, Aroma Share vendor event and talking to people about the about the success summit and just really just stewing and thinking about and praying and meditating and asking for guidance on how we can continue to keep serving you guys better. Um, and the one big frustration that we had was just that people came out like, oh my gosh, the summit was so cool and my team was on it, but I didn't get a part of it or you know, something came up and I do, couldn't get to all the presentations and other people come up like literally crying in tears, giving me a hug saying it's been amazing. It's changed my life. It's grown my business. And so we really just wanted to simplify it. And the easiest way I can explain to you what's coming in a nutshell, and I really hope that this is good timing, especially for Jake to appreciate this, um, is I said, okay, Matt, just imagine Netflix, Audible and Oily Tools meets Young Living. And they're like, wow, wow. Like, that's really cool. Like, what is it? So basically, we're just going to simplify it and make it um, very, very, very affordable for you guys to have um, a membership to all of the presentations, all of the past presentations, 
uh, 147 of them, and then all the new ones that are coming in October and will come in the future that you'll be able to use um, to send and do the if I would you. So when you know Jake's on my team and hey Jake, we had a great chat. You know I think so. First step is to get early tools. Second step is to watch uh, Jake Dempsey's presentation. I'm going to send that to you. That'll explain to you in a nutshell how the comp plan works. And then step number three is to buy Jake's book. And they're like, wow, this Jake guy's really cool. He's in all three of my action steps. <laughs> But just to add a little bit of humor into my my uh, overview here, that's what we're working towards for you guys to really simplify it. And um, I think it's going to be really, really awesome because I had a lot of people say, like, these were amazing presentations, but then, you know, can I send them to my team or, you know, give them the flash drive, but then how do I, you know, just, just making the sharing a lot easier. So uh, that's what we're working towards. Man. And my bet is that it's going to make it easier for people to just re-access content they want to watch again, like a resource. Yeah. Like yeah. you know, I, my Netflix, I can get on my TV, my iPad, my phone, and if I want to watch a movie and pick it up later on the plane, I can. So, yeah. you know, being able to just re-access that res those resources quickly and easily is going to be pretty. That's going to be pretty powerful for people, man. Yeah, and it's and that's where the Netflix kind of analogy comes in, and then the Audible one is where you guys, you know, if you just take it and say, well, we want to listen to it. You know, you can listen to it on your phone or on the computer and just, just really simplify Then you don't have to worry about, um, you know, messing around with the downloads of the flash drives or DVDs um, and all that. I mean, my, my computer, I wanted to get a DVD at convention, but I'm like, my my MacBook doesn't even have a disk drive anymore. Um, no, and they, they pulled them. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's just cool. So we're, we're like, I'm not going to let the whole cat out of the bag, but that's really that in a nutshell, you guys are the first to hear about that. But I'm going to be announcing in the next week just a special call where I'm going to overview this, and we're going to be looking for some beta uh, testers, so to speak, for this. So stay tuned on that. And um, as we're just over the hour, I said to Jake, you know, we're going to budget for 60 minutes, and right now we're 63, so I'm going to be trusting to my word. And um, Jake, any final words of wisdom that you'd like to share with uh, everybody here? You know, I think I would kind of close and just say. Uh, if you are an Oily Tools user, commit to 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 digging deeper and using it uh, more. Uh, you're not going to break it, and if you break it, we'll fix it. Uh, and if you feel like you know the comp plan or want to know the comp plan more, you know, watching this um, presentation would be would be very helpful. The comp plan presentation will be helpful, uh, and then you can purchase the books. We use them in our team, even as rank up gifts. When people hit senior star, they get a copy of my book. We even, for our own team, that's what we do. Because uh, we typically find that uh, when you hit senior star, you've got people in your team, you're growing the business and starting to understand how you get paid is pretty, uh, pretty critical. And then you couple that with using oily tools to really know what you're making and use the reports to start looking for opportunities in your team and notifications to look for opportunities in your team is really powerful. So. You know, find tools that work for you and your business. Uh, I hope that some of those tools are oily tools in the comp plan book, but uh, if not, you know, look for tools that are going to be beneficial to you and your business. And if you use them and they're successful for you, make sure you share that with your team because, as we said earlier, whether it's oily tools or even the success summit or a particular presentation in the success summit, uh, it's about creating leverage. It's about multiplying that leverage, and you do that with the use of tools. And Oily Tools and the Comp Plan Book are just two of the multitude of tools that are out there that can help you grow your business. Absolutely. Well, well spoken and summarized. And, and I love that the, um, the app is the digital portion and uh, the online. And then for those of you who are maybe not so tech savvy yet, um, or just want to use that book, you know, using it to just give it to somebody and say, read this through and then questions come back and let's chat or use it as a little chess uh, piece to play back and forth with on each chapter. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Well, thank you everybody for tuning in live. Those of you who are on here um, and <clears throat> Um, those of you who are listening uh, in the future, you can just a reminder, I'm going to show you if you're watching um, and or just listening, you can just go to YouTube and just type in YL Success Summit and you'll see for whatever reason right now, um, we're not showing as though there's anything. I had somebody message us and say, hey, there's no content on your homepage. But if you go to videos, you'll actually see all these uh, bonus coaching calls. And then if you go to playlists, we have all the trailers for 2016, 2015. And then eventually there will be 2017 as the content gets set up and ready to rock and roll. 
Um, and just to remind you guys, it's October 1st or the 14th, 2017. And then this bonus coaching call. So if you're like, wow, this is a great call, um, you want to try and regurgitate all this to your team, then cool. But you're going to do a good um, and, and heed uh, Jake's advice and just take the take this uh, video, this YouTube call, or wow, the YouTube link and share it with them and then let them have a listen. And then they're like, wow, this is totally cool. I can like share the oily tools for free with my people. I'm super stoked about that personally. <laughs> And we're going to get that out to my team. So thanks again, Jake, for taking the time. And thank you for all joining us live. We appreciate it. Thanks, Barney. All right. Have a good night, guys. And we'll see you next week um, on the call or maybe sometime in, in the near future at a live event. Cool.